this is a kind of a review of all the stuff that I've done to my 3DS and what was the benefit if it had any downsides and just an overall way to show all the stuff that can be done to the 3DS. So the first thing that you will notice is that I swapped out my LEDs. So I have a white power one, a green Wi-Fi and still an orange charging and I'm gonna replace that one too but I'm not sure what color yet so that's why it's still orange. Um, it's charging right now and if I take the charging plug out then it's white and green. Um, the second thing that's the most no notable is my heart mod. I have not modded it so I have a USB port there that I can use to access my NAND. Um, the second thing you will see is this button. I will get to that in a second um, but my 3DS is still completely functional. I have Eminent running 11.0, the newest firmware that just came out. Um, the third thing is my PSPC stick. Let me get some more lighting on that. You can, you can see I have a PSP 1000 C stick there. Um, I also did it on the new 3DS that's not an XL and it works too. This is an original that I grabbed off my own PSP. So it works. It's really good. It feels so good to you. So if you see this and I'll just move my finger slightly in a way I need to focus that so you don't move the stick you just touch it and lean it towards the side that you want to move and it's really good and it really feels good even on games where you use it like Majora's Mask and stuff um, but here comes the good stuff so I uh, see it's turning red now so I that's why I had to plug in let me put that back so the power cord is here and it's a power cord for the rest it's completely wireless so keep that in mind um, the second thing i've done is the of course the software so we have ntr streamer here and i'm beaming this to my television so you have my 3ds and my television and my laptop of course doing the same thing that's where it comes from and here comes the part that most people don't have most people need to hook up their audio cables to get audio from the laptop but what I've done, which is also found in the forum, is... Oh, it's white again. Um, I built in a Bluetooth transmitter into my 3DS. And that's what that little button in the back is. It's to control binding... To bind my Bluetooth... The thing that will be possible in the future is I will bind it directly to my laptop and stream audio right to my laptop. But my Bluetooth is somehow messing up in Windows 10 so I have a temporary fix so I have a Bluetooth tr receiver here and that goes into my audio port so if I enable my audio this is for my 3DS and if I enable the microphone now by putting something in so now the audio is disabled you can hear it on my television and that's because of this And this goes to my laptop. So I'm streaming from my 3DS to this device which puts it into my laptop. And it's completely in sync. Because, let me mute that down. I can even mute it from my 3DS. But um, it's completely in sync. And what I mean with that is um, the streamer that streams my screen is somewhat delayed like half a second. And streaming the Bluetooth does exactly the same. And it's really exact. I, Sorry. I've um, checked it out with a file that I will also put behind this video, you can see for yourself, and it's completely perfectly fine.